In this video, we'll look at factoring using chart method. So, chart method is one of the two methods you have to know. You can also learn decomposition. There's a video on that for the exact same question. The question is y equals 6x squared plus 13x minus 5. Well, the first thing you want to do is see if there's a greatest common factor or a common factor first, but there isn't. Nothing goes into 6 that goes into 13 that goes into negative 5. So we start by writing down the MAN, except this time, and here's where a lot of people make mistakes, we're not trying to multiply to this term because there's a coefficient on the x squared. This M value is going to come from the 6 times the negative 5, or A times C. So what are you trying to multiply to? In this case, negative 30, 6 times negative 5. The A value is still here at 13. We're trying to multiply to negative 30 and add to 13. If you can't see it right away, write down the combinations of what multiplies to negative 30. Right now, just 30. So what makes 30? 1 times 30, or 2 times 15, 3 times 10. Does 4 work? No. But 5 does. 5 times 6. And that's all the possibilities that multiply to positive 30. Except it's got to be a negative, so you know you need a plus and a minus. And now you just have to pick the pair here, where if you make one positive, one negative, it multiplies to negative 30 and adds to 13. Well, hopefully you can see that's obviously this one. Plus 15 and minus 2. Those will multiply to negative 30 and add to positive 13. But unlike Bergman technique, we have to do chart method here because of this number in front of the x squared. That is, when you have a coefficient of x squared, you can't just use the MAN write the answer. You need to use chart method or decomp. Here's how chart method works. Start with a tic-tac-toe board. And follow carefully. Always, this thing goes right in the middle. The x squared term, right in the middle. Always, the c term, the constant term, goes in the bottom right corner. And then finally, this work we did to get these n numbers, the 15 and the negative 2, they go in the right middle, 15x, and the bottom middle, negative 2x. Okay, what we're going to do now with this chart method is factor the rows and columns. Let's start with this row. We're trying to find the common factor in this row. What goes into 6 that also goes into 15? 6 is divisible by 2, but 15 isn't. Ah, 3. 3 goes into 6, and it also goes into 15. Also, though, x squared and x have a common factor, in this case, x. And so you get 3x on the outside. These, this outside row and outside column, those will be our answers. So we factor 3x out of these two. Now i got to factor this column. What goes into both of these? Well, what goes into 6 and a 2? A 2. And what goes into x squared and x? An x. And notice, this times this equals 6x squared. I factored this column. 2 went into both. x went into both. But 2 times 3 is 6. X, it has to be the case. This times this will equal that. Let's factor now this 15x, but we don't have to do as much work. It's simpler now because we already know we're pulling a 3x out of 15x. So I often tell students to think of it like a target. Here's your target. What times 3x makes 15x? These two have to make this target. Well, 3 times what makes 15? 5. And that's it. 5 times 3x is 15x. Let's do that target method also for negative 2x. 2x times what makes negative 2x? What goes in this box so when you multiply 2x times it, you get negative 2x. What times 2x makes negative 2x? Negative 1. And that's chart method. Here's one of my answers. Here's the other. You don't have to circle it. I just want you to see we've developed our answer there. We write it over here. y equals, does it matter which one goes first? No. Either one. As long as you put them in brackets. One of the answers is 2x plus 5 and the other is 3x minus 1. You can even check that answer if you want by foiling. Again, you can watch the video on foiling. This is first times first, 2x times 3x is 6x squared. 
2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. 5 times 3x is plus 15x. And 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. Let's simplify the like terms in the middle. The 6x squared stays, but minus 2x plus 15x is plus 13x. And then minus 5. Yep, pretty sure we got the right answer because the check checked out. So that's how you factor using chart method.